So in this video, I'm going to show you how to remove this green tint that's in our footage. It is embedded. OK, what am I talking about? I didn't add that green tint at all. So I did a straight conversion from lock to rec 709. And this is what we ended up with. And then I went ahead and added some contrast and pivot. And that's what we got. So no saturation added, no color added. This is where we're at. OK, so that is pretty common um, when you're shooting with Alexa, Sony's, and sometimes it doesn't even matter the camera. It uh, depends on the lighting situation. OK, so these are older lights. They will have that green tint that will get accentuated uh, with certain cameras. So how do you take it out? That's what we're going to be focusing on. Uh, so we don't need to focus on the contrast or the conversion part because you've seen me do that in many different videos on my channel. So we're going to jump in. Obviously, I have a stopwatch, so we're going to get that done uh, in two minutes from start to finish. So let's just hit the stopwatch and let's get going. So first thing that we need to do is analyze our scopes. And what I'm looking at is there's absolutely tons and tons of green in my image, and especially on the low end. OK. And then we look at our vector scope. The objective is to get our vector scope in the middle and get this looking pretty white compared to where it's at. OK, so what I want to do is I would punch in to something like this and start working in this area alone. OK, so isolate where you need to focus on. OK, and now what I'm going to do, the next step is going to be go under color and make sure that your printer lights hotkeys are turned on because we're going to be hitting these keys to add or subtract certain colors. So the first thing that I'm going to do, what do we see? There's way too much green. So what do we have to do in my printer lights? I'm going to go ahead and subtract one green. So minus one green already. Look at what it's doing. It's making a pretty big difference. Now we have a lot of yellow. So I see that I took my green from here and leveled it with my red, but my blues are sitting all the way down here. So I'm going to have to subtract my yellow to even out my blues with the red and the green channels. So I'm going to subtract my yellow one, two, three. And right here, look at the difference. So this is before this is after after four quick strokes. We ended up with a super clean image. Now, the next thing to focus on is this. What is happening here? Like it got way too dark. So I'm just going to go under my lift and I'm going to raise it up and I'm going to do before and after to make sure that my exposure does not change. So now if I pull out and if I do before and after, just look at the skin tones. Before, after, look at this. Before, after, and then if we look at her, before and after. And there you have it. Okay, so it was just that simple to remove the green tint out of your image in the cleanest way possible. If you just jump into lift gamma gain and completely ignore your offsets or your printer lights, you're going to run into so many issues because, uh, you know, you're going to be chasing your tail. You're going to fix your black points, but then your midtones are going to be off. You're going to fix your midtones and your gain is going to be off and you're going to be chasing your own tail, like I said. So if you use your printer lights the way I just showed you, go in with some precision. With color grading, time is money. You have to be quick when it comes to color correcting your images. So you can focus on the good stuff, which is creating and making magic, right? Like creating something really cool. Um, so if I punch in and show you this now, this is before, this is after. Like, look how clean this is. It felt like it would be impossible to get there. But if I do before, after, and then once I balanced out my image, like look at this right here. Now my colorized waveform is all clean and white. Look at my vector scope, clean and white. and all we had to do is use our scopes to help us guide us in the right direction. And then at that point, it was just like all addition and subtraction. It's just like, OK, this is there's an access of green. Let's pull it out. There's tons of yellow. Let's pull it out. And then at that point, I was just focusing on my waveform. And as soon as it got really close to matching right here, and then I looked at my colorized waveform, I already knew I'm in the ballpark. I pulled out and I was right on the money. And then by making those changes, we brought down the exposure, which I made up for by using my lift, just lifted it up and made sure that all we do is just the color change, no Luma change. And then this is where we're at. So next week, I'm going to do a part two where I'm going to show you how to make the skin tones pop. 
there's going to be some advanced techniques. It's going to be one of those Quick Tip Tuesday videos. So it's going to be super quick, but extremely effective. And guys, if you want to learn more about color grading, which I highly recommend you do, uh, check out my free training, okay? Absolutely free, no strings attached. You get everything from start to finish. I'm not going to hold anything. And then to top it all off, you get tons of freebies from me, okay? So you get the practice footage, power grades, and LUTs uh, created by me. So the link is going to be up top and in the description below. So check it out. If you're enjoying the content, please do me a favor, smash the like button, subscribe to the channel for more awesomeness. If you have any Quick Tip Tuesday content suggestions, drop them in the comment section below. And on that note, I will see you guys in the next video.